Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. I want to wish you all happy holidays and a new year. This is the first video for my 2021 season and today I'm going to show you how to seed start tomatoes. Complete process, have these ready in six weeks. And I'm going to do things a little bit different for 2021. Not going to do separate videos on each step, but could do more of a video like this where you can see the entire growth five weeks in. I'll talk about that in a second. Show you germination of the tomato plants talk a little bit about a little bit about that and then at the end I'll show you how to you know drop the seeds and get them started but this whole video is about getting tomato transplants ready for your garden in six weeks and let me just talk about something that I think is pretty cool I've known this I wanted to do an experiment to show you this so question I get all the time is can I start seeds tomato seeds my transplants in bigger containers? And the answer is yes. The only reason you would start in these smaller cells, these standard sixes right there, is because you don't have a lot of room and you're starting a lot of tomato plants. If you're starting a handful, start with a bigger container. I sell those bigger containers at my seed shop. You could use yogurt containers if you want to save some money. But you can just start the tomato plants right in those cells instead of these smaller standard six packs or these uh, mid-range four packs and let me just show you what happens now this plants a little bit taller but take a look at this these were all started on 1124 today is December 25th and skinnier stems smaller plants as you move to the bigger medium cells thicker stems higher canopy bigger plants and then when you go over to the large cells nice stocky tomato plants and again, you could just start right in these. You can pick up everything you see here at my seed shop. Now, what's the difference? So we've talked about lights before. I will link my playlist from 2020 on seed starting if you want to find more about it. But you basically want a lumens value of your lights at 3,000, Kelvin value above 5,000 to 6,500. So here we go. It took about seven days for these little seedlings to break the surface. These are put in on 1216. Lights two to three inches above the plants. What I do now and recommend for 2021 is as soon as you see your tomato seedlings break the surface, leave these lights on three days, 24 hours. It's not as much energy as you think. It will produce nice, stocky, quickly germinated, or, or when plants germinate, they grow quickly. They reach for the light. By leaving the lights on for 72 hours, they're going to say stay short and stocky. They're not going to get tall and spindly. After that three days, leave them on about a week. The light's on for 16 hours, eight hours off. You know, in the second or third week, you can go down to maybe 14 hours, 12 hours, but you can reduce the light as you progress. So these have not been fed up here at all. The seed starting mix is sterile. Question I get is, do you need soil life in your seed starting mix? And the answer is no. I will link my video on how I use boiling water. Any seed starting mix, I hydrate it with boiling water that kills off fungus gnats and potential mold issues. Don't worry about the microbiology. Your plants do not need it right now. These all grew to this height over the last five weeks with one fertilizing and I use about a quarter strength fertilizer, half strength if it's like fish emulsion, um, quarter strength if it's the uh, chemical type fertilizers. I always bottom water, I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video when we plant the seeds. But just one light feeding at about the two or three week mark, depending if you do it from germination or from when planting, and these plants are just absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can see it in some of these areas you're going to see purple coloring under the leaves that's normal too nothing to worry about you want the light feeding at about the two or three week mark because you don't want to over fertilize them so in quick review you plant your seeds they pop in about five days make sure you keep the lights on for 72 hours you can cut it back as they grow one trick that you can do is take them outside two or three times a week, give them 15 minutes of sun as long as it's above freezing outside. 
That will help them with the acclimation process. So these went in on 1124. Today is the 25th of December. Nice and stocky. These plants will get if they were going outside. Again, these are prop plants. This is not for my uh, garden for 2021, but it's just to show you how to do it. So at the about the fifth week mark, these will get transitioned slowly outdoors over the next week, and they will be six weeks old, all ready to go into the ground once acclimated. Acclimation is really the process of getting them used to the UV rays of the sun because they're grown inside here. If you put them right into the garden without getting them used to the sun, they're going to be damaged. The leaves are going to burn. So five weeks in, beautiful looking transplants, larger cells, nice canopy, a week's worth of acclimation. They can go right out into the ground. We'll talk more in future videos if you want to subscribe on when they would go out into the ground, the timing and everything like that. So again, these are only fed one time. Once you feed them the first time, every 7 to 14 days you can feed them again. All right, so let's set up a basic seed cell. I'll show you how to plant them, talk about watering, but that's the, all you need to do really is in this video to get beautiful transplants and any of these would work. I mean, it's okay if you keep them in these smaller trays, but are these smaller cells, but as you go up in cell size, they can stay in there longer and they just grow, grow larger. Makes sense. All right, let's get to planting. So we're going to just start some tomato seeds in these standard six cells, fill them full of the starting mix. The starting mix has been prepared with boiling water. Press it in just like I showed you and then cover it up again. You want a nice solid seed starting base to drop your tomato seeds. So I dropped the seeds on here already. Speed up the video. You can see two seeds or three seeds per cell. You don't want to sit around waiting for one vegetable seed to germinate and I just press these down about a quarter of an inch it doesn't really matter how far you go they're going to germinate the whole key is keeping the starting mix moist not super soggy and giving them plenty of light at germination and really for about the first two weeks of growth once they are established they're not going to get tall and lanky they'll be nice and stocky press them in about a quarter of an inch and just Fill the hole up there, press it in. Those tomato plants, tomato seeds are ready to grow. When you put in two seeds, when they get to about I don't know, half an inch tall, I just cut off the plants that I'm not going to keep. Keep the one main plant. And again, we are just approaching six weeks of putting these into the seed starting mix. Not six weeks of growth, six weeks of actually just dropping the seeds in. The seeds again will pop between five and seven days or so. Absolutely beautiful. So we have the pre-moistened starting mix, but when they go into the cell, these are uh, herbs, um, some flowers over here if you want to subscribe. I'll be doing videos on all of this. Drop your seed cells into the flats. I just fill this up with a with water about a quarter of the way. Wait 20, 30 minutes, let the water absorb from the bottom. This will get nice and dark, be nice and saturated. Any excess water after 20 or 30 minutes, you just dump out, and these seed starts are ready to go. Now for feeding, you can use an organic fertilizer. This is uh, fish emulsion. That's the basic breakdown of how I prepare it. This is a chemical type fertilizer. This is at about a quarter of a strength. This might be at about half the strength. The whole idea is less fertilizer is better. At that second week of growth, third week of growth, or if your tomato plants look like they're yellowing a little bit, instead of just putting water in here, put in the fertilizer that's mixed into the water, give them their first feeding, same thing, put it up about a quarter away, let it go 20, 30 minutes, dump out the excess, your plants have plenty of food. For the microbiology and all that kind of stuff, we can add that in later. Sometimes I use worm castings, but when you take these out into the ground or you're taking them outside and you're potting them up, you can add in more uh, soil that has the microbiology or the, the uh, soil life in there. You just don't want to 
use unsterile mix indoors because if they hash, hatch eggs uh, of the fungus gnat or they bring in insects or something like that, they're just going to devastate all your plants. This is the quickest way to get really nice tomato transplants in six weeks, including acclimation, out into your garden. I highly recommend this method to save time, save you some work if you get these bigger cells, but I think you get the point. So again, please subscribe, because this year I'm gonna do about 10 minute videos, really covering the whole process of seed starting tomatoes, peppers, um, herbs, flowers, all kinds of different plants. Um, but I just wanna be able to give it to you all in one video so you don't have to be hopping through a half a dozen videos this year. Thanks for watching, have a great new year, and please subscribe to my channel.